Hi, welcome back. It's Tuesday night, um, 20th April, and um, a few days ago I continued continue to work on the arms of this sculpture, and I secured them with epoxy sculpt, and today I was, I don't know, just really eager to continue or to, to do something creative. Um, I'm actually also very much in the mood for making something very colorful, but I couldn't really figure it out. And if I want to go paint, I have to set it up completely and I didn't feel like that. So I decided to just continue on this project. And um, what I did before that I, before I put the camera on is I had a look at her and um, I was trying to figure out what her pose will be once she's done. And last time I decided on the position of the arms and um, I figured that the head tilted to the right would be uh, a nice touch. Um, but I had to figure out the legs, the legs, because this leg had already been secured quite securely in place by the epoxy paste that I also used on here and it's, well, it doesn't go anywhere. And the other one, um, the, the metal wire that it's um, on was still, I could still move that around if I so to, to decide on the final pose of the legs. Oh, my face is itchy, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that's what I've just been figuring out. And then I used a lot of hot glue to secure that in place. And this will be her final pose. So she will be standing up, let me see, standing up, tilted back, and like with a good swoosh. Or she, it's either a swoosh or she's being pulled back. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, but there she is. And from the front, it looks like that. Let me see. There. And I think it looks quite cool. I'm not sure if I can... This is difficult to put the head in the right position, but it will be something like this. It will be quite uncomfortable. But thankfully, you know, I'm real. I'm a real girl. Like her. <laughs> I like it. Um, so that, that's what that will look like. But then I continue to think about, well, this pose here is quite... She's, she's leaning backwards quite a bit and she would never be able to stand up like this. So how am I going to give her enough support to stay up straight? So I've been thinking about that and I have an idea which I'm going to try. Um, um, there was also something else that I thought maybe I could put something like uh, support things under here which is still a good option, but I would prefer to keep this open and not have anything showing for it. So it either has to be hidden or it has to be something else. Um, and the other thing that I just thought of was to, and I've also already, I already um, uh, considered that when I was thinking of making her bird themed, you know, with a, a feathery tail dress thing. Um, and that would mean that I would have to elongate this part of the dress. And that actually sounds like quite a good idea because then I can just make it reach to the ground. And if I also use epoxy paste or sculpt, but anything firm to keep it in place, maybe I, sh I could even use wire in it for or sticks or something to make it more steady, then I can... Sticks is a good idea, by the way. I'm going to do that. Um, so that it will, she will be able to lean on that and it won't be visible. That sounds like a perfect plan. Um, and of course I don't really know yet if, if she's going to get some shoes or something like that. Um, these legs were just the first pass initially, but maybe I would just leave them like that. But I do think that I want to. I'm, I'm, when I'm drawing feet, I'm always happy with how they look and I'm not quite happy with these feet quite yet, so... Um, might do some work on that later but that's not very important tonight i'm going to see if i can elongate this dress um and i thought let's film it again because that's what we are doing we it's just you and me 
I'm going to be fabulous. Yes, you are, darling. I'm sorry if I'm scratching my face, uh, face the whole time. I don't know. I always touch my face a lot. In my hair, everything. So I should use my hands, put on something else to fidget with. Much better idea. I put the tripod right next to me today and I'm going to tilt the camera down. I just restarted this whole video because the, uh, the phone holder was upside down again so I couldn't tilt you down the right way so I just told everything again. Actually I told it better, better this time so that's a win. Um, and then you can look over my shoulder and see what I'm doing. So let's begin. Smooth transition time. Not there. Oh look, it's a very important part of all my projects, tea. This is a very old phone, I don't know what that's doing there. Mm. Yeah, phone charger. Come closer, come closer, get out of the frame, thank you. Aluminum foil in Dutch, aluminum folie. And that's card hold on. Oh, me spilling tea all over myself, which is also a very common thing to happen. Thank God it's not very hot anymore. And the hot glue gun that I just used to secure the second leg in place. Oh, last time I was so much more tired and struggling to talk. Must, I've had a pretty good day today, which is fantastic. I've managed to do some things. And most of these things are, are things that most people don't even think about when they do them. But for me it was really special that I was able to do them, so yay! Let's see. Stick just up to the ground there. Um, okay. Should I adjust this still? Mm, this will do. Mm. Are you ready? I'm not. Uh, how am I going to do this? So first, you must always remember to bump your arm or knee or foot into something because that's a really good start. <laughs> Let's start at the very beginning. Oh, I'm so hyper. Sure. Oh. <sighs> Pouring more hot fluid down my throat might help. Hold me down. So I first thought of me, shut up, I'm talking to uh, this thing here, it wants to talk to you too. I'm sorry, I'll make you a separate YouTube channel so that you can talk to people, is that okay? Um, first I thought of using paper or something for, to make to make a template or something and then making it from um, from this box of tea, Lady Grey, one of my favorite teas. And I used to keep Earl Grey in it, look at the hidden message. Um, because this is um, thin cardboard, which um, one can use to save precious moments. Geniet van een kostbaar moment. Um, but then I thought that it would be sort of difficult to um, to uh, talk. <laughs> Words are hard, as Evan always says. Evan from Evan and Caitlin, <laughs> which whose videos I absolutely love by the way they are so fun and silly and i can they're so relatable for me and uh they're funny and i'm so creative i love it and i'm jealous of all their tools and their their uh, garage where they have all these tools but not really jealous jealous but uh, i wish i had those two it's life life goals you know okay without further ado 
Um, am I going to just? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna make a flag out of this screw. No, but aluminum foil. To do this all day. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so the, the noise annoys me. So, a noise, a noise annoys me. Does a noise annoy you? Yes, the noise annoys me. Okay, shut up. Um, how am I going to attach this? Well. We'll be starting somewhere, we'll be starting somewhere. I'm gonna use this box. It's the last thing I do. Oh, I'm not feeling fun. <laughs> Your arms are in the way. <laughs> right then. I like that, because now the box is in the way. Mm. How? How, how, how? I think we'll have to just sort of glue it on there at some point, but for now, maybe it's a good idea to just, um, <sighs> change the light because I'm just looking straight into it. Where is that hook that I used last time? There it is. I'm gonna hang her up again on the lamp. No, that's too high. Ugh. Anyway, um, just gotta press it all together. This is solid now, so uh, it's not gonna. Just go anywhere, everywhere. So, yeah. I have um, just for your information the idea that is in my head now it does sort of follow the lines of this this shape, but it might I might divert from that. Okay, see, seeing as I'm doing this, that it's it's sort of let's see what I come up with. Natural glow things. See if it's longer like that actually. Could be very cool. Now I'm going to use some tape to try and this is not very very good tape for keeping things in place, but it will temporarily keep this in place and that's perfect. I hope it will. Shouldn't be pulling up too much then. One probably. I still need to be able to. I'm wearing my Cookie Monster sweater again. Oh man, it was such a beautiful day today. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty cool like this, doesn't it? Actually, this is a perfect angle to be able to see things from a different side. Sometimes the opposite side is not very convenient because I'm also using it as a bit of a reference to see how the project is coming along. Now I can see it from the side easily. Plus you can also sort of see what I'm seeing only from a slightly different angle. See what I see. I see fire in the northern only mountain side. This is the end. Wish all good. I think I, oh yes, the sticks. I mustn't forget about that. Um, 
sticks and stones and break my bones. Now I'm just going to start at the other side and use this bit here and see what happens with that. But first, ooh, the wall behind you is now that you can't see that. Let it see. Okay, a noise, annoying noise again. feeling that this project is going to be so cool man i already think it's very cool because i've never done anything like this before and it's so fun just discovering everything i can do with it or just trying to find ways of doing things with it even um just making it so much fun for me it's like a, i'm just exploring all kinds of materials and techniques and um finding a lot of inspiration in other artists' work, which is always great. So, um, cool. Very fashionable. Shit, you too, fella. I've said that before. <laughs> Really put it down like this now, can I? I couldn't do that anyway because of the arms. Okay, then balance. Stay. Won't you stay like that, please? For a little bit. Only for a little more. I'm so hyper tonight. Oh my god. This is not good. I need to. <laughs> For your reference, it's it's one almost 1.30 a.m. right now, and I need to take my daughter to school uh, in a couple of hours. Well, at seven, we get up at seven, so <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm going to try to go to bed uh, before that and have a have a sort of a nap, have <laughs> one or two hours before I have to get up again. But it might just be I, I either crash in a few hours. And I'm completely ready to go to bed, or I'll just steam straight ahead and um, and and not sleep and just power through. Um, and then when I have brought her to school, I will probably go get some sleep. But there's always the risk of, you know, because I had such a relatively good day yesterday, and I'm very very afraid that it would result in. Um, me not sleeping tonight would probably result in um, a couple of days which might not be so good afterwards. So um, that we'll see, and you never know. Maybe not. Maybe it will. Okay. Uh, okay. So on this side now, it's been a bit more like that. Oh, I, I like kind of like it going like that. It's very very whimsical. And then I should reinforce it so that this part is strong. All, right, all the parts should be strong, but then it could still have some movement in it. I love this aluminum foil for things. It's so easy to bend. Okay, I think this is uh, this is this might ouch. <laughs> this might work. See, I just bumped my elbow into the table to confirm that. Um. um skirt um yes so well and then now what <laughs> now what because this is so very thin 
Um, but I do like it. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Just look, get the stick out of there. Look, look, look. Wow. And it's also, I think this would be the right size because it's not longer than the arms, but it's still, but if this part becomes quite a solid base, then, then she can just stand like that. And it should be wide enough so that it's supportive enough to, to hold her. Let's see, let's see if this is actually, um, this is the point of support. Would she be able to stand? I think so. I think so. Just mimicking it with my fingers holding it at this point here. Um, I'm just gonna build it and um, I'm just gonna make it and reinforce this and if it doesn't work then I have to actually uh, rethink the plan but I think it will work or well, at least it's, it's not a bad plan it is not a bad plan no not at all not at all um, am I going to use more tape to reinforce this am I gonna leave the tape in there or not and what will I use to reinforce it with? With what kind of sticks or something? Mm. Okay. I'm, I'm contemplating what to use to reinforce the, the skirt with because if I use wire, it might still bend. Um, if I use sticks, it, it will be, uh, I, I can't, it will have, yeah, it will have to be short sticks or something, or something like a, maybe like those incense sticks I could use for that, but I don't really know if that's gonna last, because those, those aren't very strong, and this epoxy sculpt gets quite heavy, and I still want it to be thin, but strong, and I think a skewer like this is too thick, probably. Right? Or not? Oh. Mm. Maybe not. I could sort of encase it into the... Uh, I attach it there. But I can't really bend it. Or can I? Well, not without it snapping, apparently. Oh, it's snapping at me! work actually um you can just not see can you um that i've pasted it with the tip touching the the base that's already here because if i put it back on there further then it wouldn't then it would angle down too much um, might work I'm not sure I'm not sure of anything anymore <laughs> I haven't been sure of anything uh, oh sorry dear <laughs> um, I haven't really been sure of any of this sorry let's not put my head in the frame mm. okay Apparently we are going with the tape. I'm just making it up as I go. Uh, I don't know. So that I don't get all the pointy ends in my fingers. Well, it was. Um, I'm 
trying to gently bend it with me, which means that I have to slightly break it, but without it completely snapping. Don't snap, you can't snap. And then again, <laughs> then again, if it does completely snap, that's all right. It's fine, I think, isn't it? No, well, not sure about it. <laughs> Oh no. Um, you see, that's that's why I don't really want to use the wood because it might snap. Of course, in the end, there will be epoxy covering it all. Um, and I could start on that today already. Um, I've been looking forward to using the epoxy paste again, by the way. I want to use it in the beginning of this project and since I have covered most of it with regular epoxy sculpt. Oh. What am I? What are we going to need here? Tea? No. Tea is not what we're going for there. Um, but I really like how shiny it is. Um, this has been, I've been touching this with my epoxy sculpt hands, so it's a bit, but it, the, the, the goopiness of it, the goopiness of it is very, interesting texture wise it's smooth but also blobby i don't know and if i do make this oh i know i should make this skirt um not smooth i should use the the, the aluminum foil and i should make sure that it's not quite smooth um maybe even put some things on here that i paste on glue on um which will then be showing through a little bit. But I could always decide on that later, of course. Um, first, I need a skirt. Okay, so, oh, damn. This is not secure. It just escaped from its tapey prison. Um, which means I did not use enough tape. Well, this, this will have to do. It's, it's fine. Okay. Um, Leave it like that. Here is one um, thing. Maybe I should have it on the other side. So it rests on top of this. That could work. I could do that with hot glue. Even. Yes. Yes. Oh, I have an idea. Let me get some wire. Be right back. something. And then should I put the wire on? And this is quite um, firm, quite hard to um, manipulate. Not that hard, but it's, it's, this is not as easy to bend as, for instance, the, the green uh, wire that I used for the legs, or even more so, this aluminum wire, which is very light and just bends, 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 <laughs> bends very easily and can't really hold anything. But this wire, on the other hand, is um, steel, galvanized even, so it's it's a bit more tough. So that might work to make some sort of framework for the, the dress. I need some thing to cover that with. Otherwise, I can't do 
use it when I want to. And what's a cold octo drop? Pretty damn useless. Oh, uh, where's my chair? <laughs> Okay, um, let's put my hair back because I don't want to have it in the way today. No way today, it's gone. Okay, um, I see today, I see tomorrow. So I can love you. <laughs> I wanted the, the regular scissors to do that. Mm, must be careful because it's quite sharp. I think if I attach this to the top of this, then I can even go around. Uh, making me some sort of shape to for this to hold on to but perhaps I don't want to make that out of wire or do I? Uh, do I have something in a more firm shape? Or oh, I could cut some cardboard to attach that to in the, in the shape I want for the... Oh, I'm on a roll. Sometimes I'm just sitting and thinking all evening and now I have all these ideas. Always good to kick your tripod every once in a while so that it knows you haven't forgotten about it. Mm. Um, where is a pen? We need one. Do I have one here? Nope. I have to get up again. <laughs> this bag thing. Um, so I'm not quite sure what what kind of shape do we want something. How long do I want this train to be? This is going out on here. Oh yes, okay, I should follow that shape then. big enough piece of cardboard and it's also I need more hands. I need more hands. I need like eight if I were an octopus. That would be great. <laughs> it rhymes so you know. Must be some truth in it. Isn't very okay. Hold on, Let's see. Um, oh, that's wonderful. for a bit wider. Um, I can always make another one but it doesn't suit what I'm going for. Right. Probably I will just use this and make it work somehow. It's usually what I do. And I also think that I will need 
to make it longer because um, I also want it to be in the part that goes up here so that there's this edge that stands up with with this in here oh, like that uh, or maybe this part could go here then and then I'll have to make another is that the right shape? No, um, this was the shape for starting from here. Oh, please stay upright. There, and then I have to see what's the advantage of it being cardboard. I can just bend it like this, and then it will be supporting. Uh, this okay yeah that's great that would be wonderful um cow no brown cow oh no brown cow shimmy down <laughs> it's funny i've been using this uh, wool strand for so long now not quite sure maybe i've only used it for this project probably for a second I thought that maybe I also used it for my chameleon doll, but I don't think that's true. I'm just going to paste this on here. Oh, there's of course a stick in here, but that's fine. And um, then I can just see where to go from there. Let it go. Thank you. Um, Which part? Oh, that part right. Oh yes, I have to use this side, which is less, a little less sticky, uh, slippery. That will probably be easier to glue on. Must be careful not to burn myself. Yes, one must always be careful not to burn oneself. To where will I put the glue? Glue, more glue. Oh, oh no. Gravity demands that I take it into consideration. <laughs> Just lame. Why do we have to? Do we really have to consider you? That would be always want my attention okay now then i'm just gonna put a little dollop here oh, and then burn myself right. try, not, try not to burn yourself try not to burn yourself it's a goal Oh my god, it's so funny. I, I'm just thinking about when this is then at some point finished and then people will be like, wow, that is beautiful. And how did you make that? Well, <laughs> well, I used uh, aluminum foil and a stick and some tape and um, some cardboard and some hot glue and, uh, and some epoxy sculpt, which is very fancy and epoxy paste and uh, yes yes but when it started as um, some flimsy aluminum foil with some old box cut out tape to it <laughs> that's the beauty of it it can turn into something beautiful even though it started as a simple box also i'm thinking about this what i've now used the tape um i might want to replace that by with um with glue because oh no if I still can, let's switch off. Yes, that's one. Um, I'm not sure about this. I'm just gonna. Oh dear. Should I have thought about this sooner? Maybe. Maybe not. I didn't, so it's irrelevant. Irrelevant, I tell you. 
Or one thing I've learned is that aluminum foil sticks very well to the tape. Glue, gravity. Then otherwise all this epoxy paste would have been for nothing. I just cover it in tape, you know. And it's it's not permanently gonna keep it in place either, so oh boy. I'm gonna have to put it down again. No. <laughs> That's a bit too far down. <laughs> Camera fell out. Oh no. Oh no, it's all going down hill from here. Being a bit dramatic. Oh, there, look, it's, it's, it's come off. Does this want to come off? Sometimes when I watch videos from Chloe Rose, for instance, she reminds me of me as well. She can be so, so hyper and, and clumsy and chaotic, and I love her. <laughs> Sometimes she annoys me because I sometimes annoy myself as well. It's like, okay, just take a moment, breathe, and then stop talking and stop doubting yourself so much and judging yourself so harshly. That's not to Chloe, but just to me. Because most people who like to create things are very critical themselves. Not all of them, I suppose, but. Always doubting themselves and second guessing. It's okay to have more than one guess. I guess. Is it? <laughs> oh no, I'm doing it again. Oops. Oh, let's not. Let's not put my fingers in that hot glue. That sounds like a very bad plan. Let's not put that gluey stick on the aluminum foil or on this cutting mat either. This also seems like a bad plan. See, it's already getting the texture I want. I'm doing this intentionally. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Can't you tell? It's clearly what I was intending to do. I have no idea. If you've liked watching my other videos, maybe tonight you think, oh my god, who are you and what did you do to my life? It's just part of me. And I'm hyper as fuck. But at least I'm happy and cheerful. That's good. Oh, there's glue on your head. I'm so, so very sorry. Oh no, what happened to your ear? Why is there glue on your ear? I didn't see that. I'm so sorry, dear. That rhymes, so you know it's true. You'll have to trust that age-old wisdom. I mean, why else would make people make things rhyme? There's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, rhyming things is making making sense of things, right? So if, if it rhymes, it must make sense. That's how I came up with this silly thing I always say. And it's a bit silly, but there's there's some... It's not that, not like there's no rhyme or reason to it, is there? Uh -huh, let's see what I did there. And the funny thing is, uh, the other day I had a conversation about uh, personality types, ouch, and... Um, um, I thought of, I asked if anyone had done the Myers-Briggs personality test before because I'm of the personality type that's always curious to know other people's personality type and also to, um, that was kind of funny because before I read that I had already, okay let me just start at the beginning, at some point when I 
had done that test, I was eager to ask everyone I know, uh, have, you, have you taken that test? What type are you? And to read all, up all <laughs> about all of them. And then uh, when I was reading my own again, I saw the part where it was most likely that my personality type was the type that would encourage others, others to take the test and to recommend it to them and to uh, look everything up that there's to know about it. So that was just typical. <laughs> it was very accurate, mine. Um, anyway, but um, I told then that um, someone there uh, did um, had taken that test many times, he said, and um, was surprised to hear that my uh, personality type is uh, INFP, which is an introverted personality type, very introverted. But he was surprised to hear that um, somehow, which I can imagine because I can be quite outgoing and uh, well-spoken, but that doesn't really... Well, he well, he just w was um, surprised by it. But then when I explained that I really need to be alone to recharge and to uh, that being around people too much drains me, drains the life out of me. And that, of course, it's more about the, the way that you um, um, recharge your energy. And for me, that's very much by myself. Why do you think I spend my all my evenings and nights, well, mostly my nights, alone, awake. It's heaven. Everyone is asleep. There's no one's energy bothering me. And it's just, I can just be, and that's so rare for me that it's, it's just, it's addicting. It's addictive. It's, it's, I love it. That's what I mean to say. So, hot glue. I remember that at some point during this project I think when I was oh yeah when I was uh, when I decided to fix the legs the leg joint um, my joint legs that I fixed that part up with epoxy paste I mentioned that I didn't want to do it with hot glue because hot glue is just hot glue and it's not very fancy and not very durable maybe and now I'm just putting everything together with hot glue but I'll be going over it with epoxy so it, it, it's it's fancy it's just an easy way to fix things together quickly and to burn your fingers. I mean, you don't regularly burn yourself, you don't know you're alive. How do you know you're even alive? I don't know about this stick here. <laughs> I'm just gonna glue it down probably. Mm. Of course, this has no weight whatsoever, but weight. Now it does. Does this stay? Is it gonna, is it gonna stay, please? No? It's a bit large. It's too large. Oh, fine, we'll do. Um, the stick, yeah, so. I'm just going to use hot glue over it. So in between these layers too. Oh, and I have to remember that this is still a very thin layer of um, foil. Now, of course, I <laughs> didn't think before of doing that. But I'll just leave this bit of uh, tape in place. We can leave it. It's okay. Let's have some tea. Still very flimsy. Okay, let's place the start. I do like the shape of it. What do you think? I love the shape of it. And it goes well with with the, the, the skirt stand coming up here. Sort of, it's not correct if you look at it. If she's swooping this way, or is it? It will. Yeah, it, it is. This one will go up first, and then the rest will follow. Where's my... Whee. 
doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense from a logical perspective. But um, oh, we just have to imagine that there's wind coming from the front and that's it's blowing the skirt up. Because if she were to swish this way, then the skirt would be pulled that way. So maybe, I mean, this is cool, but then I will have to make it larger here. But I was just saying that it's it's good that it's not that large. But I'm allowed to change my mind, aren't I? So you can see the sheet on her. It's from somebody. I need to calm down. Calm down a little bit. There's no middle road with me. I'm either exhausted beyond belief or I'm bouncing around until I'm exhausted beyond belief and then too exhausted to sleep and all that nonsense. Look, 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 she's standing. Oh, it's working. It's work. I'm holding on to the cardboard now and that's standing on the ground again. But let's try that again. Oh, nope, of course it only worked once. Uh, hmm? Why? Where is it? Well, it worked for, for a second there. <laughs> I don't exactly remember. <coughs> no, well, not like that. Oh, she needs to be she needs to be angled forward a little bit to to the right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Because then. She's leaning, leaning uh, forward a little bit, then she's standing. See? Can you see it? Can I show you better? Not really. But, uh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Soon she's falling the, over that way. But that's also because I haven't um, made any support on this side yet. So I will make sure that there's also support going that way because if she falls that way, she's toast. This leg is still sort of moving, by the way. Should at some point maybe also use epoxy to fix that in place because otherwise it's not going to go down well. And for the head, I thought that I this 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 metal thing, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be attached here. Um, so that her head doesn't go back too far because I was first doing it like that and then I thought, no, how did I do it when I was figuring it out? And then I, I realized that because the, the neck is metal. Mm -mm -mm. I am a pain of a pigeon. It don't slip with me. It don't slip. That's... Um, um, from from Sesame Street, a song that Bert sings. I dance a pigeon, but because he loves pigeons, obviously. But in Dutch, and I never thought about this until I was an adult, <laughs> because as a kid I just didn't question it at all, which is good. But um, <laughs> I, uh, they made it. I I dance the penguin or the penguin. He comes way up the penguin. Um, instead of I dance the pigeon because that just fits right where because the, the pigeon in Dutch is a doof and that just doesn't fit. He danced the doof and the pigeons danced the doof. No, it just doesn't go well. So apparently they decided to change that. What will I? What do I want to do with this this thing here? I don't know. Maybe it should be, I don't want it to be stuck here. Now I'm distracted already again, but I'm just trying to figure out, because that's here at the, the, the line for the head. But if it's falling down like that. Uh, I don't know. Let's continue on the on this part now. As you know, still I'm using the cardboard now, which is funny because I thought of using wire and everything, but I will. I will. I shall. Don't worry. 
I do worry. You've been drinking coffee. No, this is why I don't drink coffee. Imagine this and then adding coffee. It's just gonna make me so... It's gonna make my head explode. And yours as well. So I do the world a surface and my uh, sur surface. The surface of the world is being done a service by me not drinking coffee. And also my digestive system doesn't really isn't particularly fond of it. I'm just gonna cut some strips of um, this and then glue them in for some added support. How about that? Sounds like a plan. That's what I thought. Yes, I should come down from this side here. And then, 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 then. Like that. I'm not, well, I'm not sure about this one. Should have measured something out. What? Why? Um, okay, then I will just. Um, this is, was a very bad idea. Why was why am I? Eh? I'm still tired, just hyper. Hyper, hyper. Mm. Sorry, I'm just trying to do all this somehow. Um, no. I think this is too long, but maybe if I do it like that, that will give some support here. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Then I should start here. And I'm not doing this a very good way now. Maybe did I have it this way? I don't even remember. Ow, 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 ow. See, it's always good to burn your finger, it makes you. Even more bizarre. Mm. You want to stand somewhere? I don't know. I completely burned my thumb. Very inconvenient. This is the thumb of my right hand, obviously. Of course. Of course. Ouch. The layer of aluminum foil on the back is very thin, so. Oh. I do still really need to cover this. Did I? No. Glue this down already? No, that's not much. Hot, hot. I didn't feel it yet, but I know it's hot, so reminding myself of it by saying hot, hot, hot. Apparently, my feet help. Nope. Originally, I made this this fold in here because I had the two sides overlap. Do I still want to exaggerate that? Or don't I? Oh. 
not sure if I still can. No, I don't really need to. It's not necessary. Okay, and now I think I should maybe or not. I wish I could still can move these arms out of the way. <laughs> I could put her on my back. Uh, but now if I do that, all the uh, it, will, it will push this, make this, it will make this collapse on itself probably. Oh, huh? <laughs> no, why not? Look, my bridge. Oh, I'm traveling. <laughs> Look at what I can do. Well, this is convenient. Quite convenient, I must say. Thank you, cardboard. You are awesome. Okay, so this is basically just, let me see what we've got here now. So this, this is all just folded up aluminum foil. Aluminum fold. Um, which might be superfluous by now. Some words I don't know how to pronounce because I've never heard people use them, but I've read them so many times. And it's difficult. I had the same when I was learning to read as a as a child in Dutch. Some awkward situations. And I see the same in my daughter now. She can read quite well. Um, but she doesn't always know, obviously, how to pronounce every word because every language has their strange rules and exceptions and I'm just Read new things. Now I broke this part. This is this is broken because I cut it off. Why did I do that? Why did I have to do that? Well, I felt like I had to. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Can you still see what I'm doing? I'm so far away. Um, Am I going to do this? Am I? Do I think? Put this on here. No, I'm going to use this thin stuff because that's just like paper, but a little bit thicker. Wow! Um, you're making it quite difficult to reach some parts of you, maybe. You made me! That is true. <laughs> so this is where we want it to go. Don't move away. I need to have this thinner part of it. Might have been smart to trim it before I did this. It's not very handy at all. Why? Well, it's fine. You can just cut it off or glue the scissors in there as well. Ouch, and burn yourself. No, it's not that hot anymore. But is it even stuck now? Because it doesn't seem to be. Oh, yes, it is. But did it stick the, 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 the parts together that I needed? I did stick my fingers together. That's a good start. You know, with like just this. Haha, <laughs> now it's a curl. I love it. Will she have curls like this? Oh. Blizzard. It's quite kind of majestic, isn't it? Kind of cool. Oh. Kind of different. I mean, she's already different. I've also been thinking about um, because someone was making Morticia Adams, and um, it was Hexian's video that I watched, and I had already seen it at some point, but I rewatched it just because. I stumbled upon it again and I thought, oh, I love that one. Let's have a look at it again. And um, um, he made these sort of tentacles on the underside of her dress. Her dress is also a bit like that, only it goes 
to the floor and then she has those things trailing up on it and that is so cool. I might want to do a similar thing. Maybe not with um, cardboard curls, but uh, who knows? Who knows? There's one thing I do know, that I, that's, that I am thirsty and need some more tea. Hot water bottle! Squeak! Oh, boom! It's like a gong. Look at how cool that looks. I kind of don't want to. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Uh, because it would just be. It, it's such a cool, fun, funky thing. I'm just going to keep it. And where is that wire that I used? like that to keep the arm up because it would be a waste not to use this for something just throw it away maybe I can just use it and I hope to mm. do something cool with it oh, not that way there's a lot of hot glue there I need this flattened out. Could you help me, please? Sure. I haven't properly twisted it around, but I don't really need to. It's just. Um... This part here is a bit twisty and bendy, but um, I might just cut that off. That's tricky to get rid of. Where should I put that? Oh, I know. I'll paste it with some tape so that it doesn't lie around. I don't step on it, or even more, my daughter doesn't step on it and hurts herself. Okay, let's have a dollop of glue at the end. And then. Oh, come on. Why don't you want to stick to us? Please stick to us. Why wouldn't you want to? Is it a bad idea? Is that why you won't stick to it? Because you think that I shouldn't stick with it. I'll just, uh, I have my stick here, I'm gonna spread the glue around with it, so, haha, -ha. okay, I'll leave that for now, uh, <laughs> because it needs to dry, and then I'll try to make that curl once the glue has dried, but um, if I do it now, it won't work, no, Good. Um, okay, 
this is where the stick is. So if I stick this there. Should I just do it like that or should I make a strip of it? Yeah. Well, how did I just do it? And now it looks different again. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it needs to end up attaching here and there. No, where's the stick again? Here. So not there. And then like that. And then another point. And then put hot glue on my fingers, just give me a smile. Where is the stick? Where is the stick? Here, here it is. Uh, and I should probably also, because this isn't going to be very firm in itself, but I have to have some something like a stick or something connecting it from the underside. Reinforcing it, I mean. Reinforcement! Because this part is uh, where the most, where all the weight is going to be. And right now it's the flimsiest part of all. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What is the flimsiest part of all? Well, the part that has to carry all the weight, of course, naturally. Oh, yes, that makes uh, perfect sense. Oh, first, let's have a look at this. Yeah, did it dry? Yeah. Go bit by bit, I think. Step by step, bit by bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, as I already mentioned, there's a song that just stick out. I wish I had the circular one as well. Circular, circular, um. Tongue. Tongue. I don't, I forgot the English word. Sometimes happens. Is it gonna help doing this at all? The thing with the circular uh, ends. But I have also other circular things that I could use, but maybe I should leave it to dry first. Yes, sounds good, Glenn. Okay, um, na, 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 na. I do really feel like continuing on this right now so that maybe tomorrow, because tomorrow it's well, tomorrow already actually now it's already sort of Wednesday, and then but Wednesday night, um, my daughter always goes uh, for a sleepover at um her grandparents my boyfriend's parents and um that means that's the only week, week day in the week that i have some time to myself uh for a longer part of the day and that's um a longer part of the day uh, at which in which i am actually able to be productive because in the mornings i'm just uh, worth nothing and i'm always asleep um because i've adjusted my sleeping pattern to to match my uh, TV pattern sort of just realized that's actually quite true um, and it's also much easier to focus at night and I usually I have some trouble getting into things and um, if I'm being distracted constantly by other people then I just can't get into it really well and really 
it, I, I, it costs me way more energy and I don't enjoy it as much because I'm constantly thinking, oh, I'm going to be distracted anytime soon. I know that it, it, it's, it's, that doesn't work. It doesn't work very well if you think that. Um, but I can't help it. It's just the way I'm wired, I suppose. Very wired. Very wired. Because I need this to be a small setup. Otherwise, it won't make any sense. I don't know if it will make sense at all. I don't even have to. I don't have to do that quite yet, do I? I just have to remember sort of how it goes and I have to just make sure that it's glued on and then I can twist it when it's on because it's it's cardboard so I can oh yay okay good it's basically paper good hang hang on the paper for a while when you pass from the sky on the road of the town mm -hmm. Everywhere. Not quite everywhere yet, but we're getting there. Just the last part. Trying not to be loud. But it might be hard not to get glue on my fingers. So hold on tightly to yourself. It's longer than that. This is fun. I like it. Um, it's very, it's very spontaneous, and but it's, it's. I like it because it goes with the movement of the dress, and I love these um, things that just come into existence because something just happens, and then they are suddenly here. Look, you know what I love? It's when, when the hot glue gun has been standing around, and the glue gets so hot that it starts to drip, and then it forms these crystal clear. Well, not completely crystal clear, but these beautiful little drops of glue. I know it's not in focus because my camera doesn't want to do that when I ask it to. It's trying. And this one is a bit crooked. I'm going to try it. Focus. Can we focus on this? No? Anyway, dollop of glue. Cool. I've saved some of those. Because I saved everything. Now, because I thought that it would be cool to use at some point. Oh, there's a hole in here. I can see through it. I can see the light. Okay, what am I going to use to um, make this stronger? Do I need to put something around my wire? Because I'm afraid I'm going to burn my hands so badly. <laughs> or maybe I can put... Um, cardboard or paper is over it. I can just put it paste it in between this like that. Does that work? Would it work? She wondered. She knew she would find out eventually if she would just go ahead and do it. Oh idea. Cardboard is hollow. <laughs> And of course, this cardboard has just paper on it because it's relatively thin, but I, ow. So I could potentially poke through it and hurt myself. Again. No, not again. Please. And again. I'm weaving it wire through cardboard. One of the things I never thought I'd do. Then again, I've never thought that I would never, I just never thought of it. It's something else, isn't it? It's not the same as thinking something would absolutely never 
do in your life. And never, ever, in all of my days, let's just be careful now, because I'm talking and I don't want to. Yes, okay, good. I'm going to secure this with a drop. It's quite a big drop, but that's okay. And I have no glue because I don't want to hurt my hand on this anymore. And cut this out off. Cut this. Such a good idea. Oh, it's so funny because sometimes I'm just aching for for it. I'm desperate for for days like this where I can just think of something and do it immediately and like this I'm just I'm so hyper and I, I'm gonna be so tired and my body's going to be aching a lot from this but it's so fun I'm having so much fun right now so that's good huh. and you know it's actually um, I know I'm gonna be tired and I'm gonna be in pain but I'm already in pain usually most of the time uh, to some degree there's always some some degree of pain um, or discomfort in my body present so but at least i know i will know that i have managed to uh, accomplish something that brought me joy and that was useful because that is it's useful this is also useful but i've also done some household chore useful kind of things today and some 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 administrative uh, shizzle which always sometimes i can do it I, I know how to do it i know that i can do it but making myself do it can be such a hard thing and i know that's that goes for a lot of people i'm not alone at that but just i sometimes i still wonder how it's possible or how much difficulty one person can have with just making themselves make a phone call but then again i have to be have some sympathy for myself because um it's it's uh, oh, it has a lot to do with having autism or being autistic and um executive executive ugh, executive functions just don't function as they should which makes it extra frustrating because you do understand what, what, what the task is, sort of. Um, and you know, you could visualize someone doing it. You could visualize yourself doing it, which often makes me feel like I've done something, even though I haven't, because I can vividly imagine it. But I, the, the gap between my head and the action is so large somehow that it feels, even to me, it doesn't make sense. But it's it's a... Uh, it's a real struggle. But look what I made. <laughs> it's pure inspiration. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Okay. Well, what was I going to do with it? I'm going to let it dry. Is this dry? Yes, it has. Okay, now. Now then. I'm just going to cut off final part there and cover it with a tiny piece of glue. Um, I don't think this will be gonna help. It will probably poke through anyway. But that's okay. And let's put this on the thing for you. So then in a bit when that has dried I can or maybe when I am done with the uh, epoxy stuff I can Curl it. Do I want to make more of those? I don't know. Let's focus on this this funny little thing because I want to use that to um, um, make this make more strong. Right, that's what we were going to do. Yeah, it might seem so strong, but how? How and why? I don't know why, but how exactly? Um, just like that. Or should I have it on both sides? Would that make it easier or more difficult? 
or not necessarily easy, but it would make it easier, or would it not make it just necessarily easy? Oh, now it's already clipped it onto itself, sort of, which uh, I think can be good. Can you still? You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Look, I've, I've just tightened, I've, I've bent this wire around uh, while I put this on here, <coughs> and um, I tightened it with this tongue. <laughs> And then it was so tight that I couldn't move it anymore. Oh, what just happened? Why did you collapse? Ugh. I'm also afraid to... Well, I'll just leave it like that. I will just leave it like that. I'm not going to have it go in that direction. Can I... Can I have it go under this, maybe? No, let's not go that far. I will attach it underneath and all the way up to here and you might think well that's maybe that's a bit of a stretch but that's how far it goes and it makes sense to attach it oh i need more glue um in several areas so that it will help the tin the entire construction right i'm gonna get some more glue sticks Put it back again. And back. Again. And I'm just going to roll it. Just not actually rolling anywhere. You know. You know what I mean. My daughter would say, no, but that's an expression. You don't actually mean that. I know, I know. I just love taking things literally. Sometimes you just have to be taken literally. Taken literally. Not taken seriously. <laughs> oh, it's another joke of mine that I very much like. Oh boy, there's all this glue on that nail. Thank God it wasn't very hot. Um, don't have the illusion that it will keep the wire in place, but I will. There we go. Hot glue. It's my hero today. The hot glue will also still be bendable usually to some degree will be flexible so um, I will be able to oh, stick this s stick to it <laughs> okay please stick I might have to um, Use that pliers. Is that the word? Pliers? I think it might be. I found the word again. See, I knew it was in there somewhere. It's just there's so much in there somewhere. <laughs> this is, can be very hard to find the right ones. Just at the right time when I actually need them. Okay, well, that's all. That's me in the corner. Oh, I wish I could. Um, can I do this and not have it? I want to bend the wire, but not lift it off this again. Spread out the glue a little bit. Oh boy, oh no. And I just tore it off again here. That was a great idea. Can you wrap your head around it? Yes, I can. I'm 
literally. It's how different things literally. Sometimes it's confusing. Very confusing. Okay, I'll just wait until this dries. <laughs> I'll try to. Is it dry enough yet for me to use the pliers? How do I even want this to curl? Okay, well, I think it's okay like that. Okay, I'll just put another. Oh. Hello. Glue. So much glue. All the glue in the world. The most beautiful glue in the world. How do I manage to, to, to entangle her arm in here every time? <laughs> Dazed and confused. Okay, now I have to be careful that I don't grip into the hot glue on the bottom. The bottom, ha ha, ha. No. Mm. See? Ow. So I have to be careful that I don't do it, but then I immediately go and do it. Um, this is still a bit flimsy. I want to. I'm gonna get some more aluminum foil. <coughs> Wait. I got some here. No. Oh. oh. Grab the glue again. 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 <laughs> yeah, the underside is also hot. Even hotter, maybe, if it's. Um, this is two layers, and that is only one. There can only be one layer. Layer. Okay, so this is gonna go up, right? bit at least. Okay, good. You can see what I'm doing this time. Sort of. Weird. Not that's, that's, not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Just need to make sure that it's all really secured. Um, but I think this is a good shape. This is just too much aluminum foil going in the wrong direction. I need to either just fold it over. Fold it over again, and then that may work better. And this needs to go like that. Go. Okay, I need to put it down. 
sorry for that. This will be somewhat crucial. Okay, this can be flat and then this needs to be supported. Or do I want to? Oh, okay, yeah, oh, that's fine. I only tore the cardboard, but that's okay. Yeah, I need to put this here. But there needs to be more support because it just 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 doesn't reach. Damn. Am I gonna use another stick or some more wire? Stick seems like a good idea. Let's help fix the broken stick. You can't play on broken sticks. Oh, do you really think I can't? Watch out, there's a hot glue gun there. He dropped me. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Please. We will fly upside down. <sighs> this is actually a good way of doing this, as long as I don't stick this to it. No. So then the dress should um, probably, probably, oh, probably maybe go um, flatter sooner, touch the ground sooner, and this part needs to be very firm. Nothing happened. I have everything under control. Everything. It just flipped under the, the, the. This is perfect. Okay. Let me glue that. Let's see. Can you glue that? Can you glue that? Oh, no. No, I can't. Apparently. Well, the wire is tough. I was right about that. I know it's so tough. Come on, baby. already aren't I? A little bit. I'm not, it's not. It's, it's, I'm annoying myself a little bit less so that's that's good. Also this video is over an hour and a half already which is way longer than I've posted so far but uh, uh yeah. Maybe I should continue with a new one, but it doesn't make much sense because um, I've already filmed for so long. But I do might I might need to take a break in a bit. Oh yes, and I'll make a different video for the epoxy if I still if I'm still gonna get around to doing that today, which I really really want to. Okay, so um, address. Look at this, isn't it glorious? I like it, I like it. Yes, oh yes, I do. 
Oh, hell yeah. Um, and then I should probably fold this in because it's a little weird. Um, and this isn't complete yet, or maybe it needs to be folded like that. Yeah, that works. Oh, here's a stick. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. That's kind of cool. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm probably going to forget where all the wires are, which I can bend, but... Uh, you know, my, my final goal is just that this thing can stand without support. Uh, and how I'm going to achieve that doesn't really matter. Well, it kind of does, but it's not... Uh... It's okay if I don't remember where everything is, as long as I'm, I'm able to bend this um, skirt before I put the epoxy over it. That's important. That's what's important right now. Yes. You know what? I feel like this is a good moment to end this video because it's very long and I, I've stopped doing something and I'm starting to think again, which I might just as well do off screen. And then uh, have a cup of tea and have a snack and then I will be back and it rhymes, so you know it's true. And then I will continue and show you what else, what other mischief I'm up to tonight. Right. If anyone watched this, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it a little. Sorry for me being so hyper. It's just where I am sometimes. Um, another side of me. I'll be back soon. See ya.